Hey, 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 guys! Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. I'm Archaea Chasma, and in today's episode, first we're gonna take the metal out of here because I'm still smelting metal. I've done a super small amount of work off camera. The only thing I really did off camera was put some food in there, get some more food for eyes, and put more um, dung in the plant I planted last episode. So in today's episode, we're gonna have some fun with Meg. I'm gonna name her Megan. You know, change it out a little. So the movie can't, you know, get me. We'll check the greenhouse. It will check the greenhouse right now, actually. Because it's going to be a while before I get out of the Megan. Let's check the rock carrots. How many? 109. Cool. That is perfectly fine. They don't need any more. Eh, you guys still need more. We have 24 long grass, aka corn, and these guys are still growing. They should be grown really soon. They grow fast. So no need to worry about that. I also think it's about to be nighttime. So I don't really want to stay in the ocean too long, because at night... Well, if you watched the last episode, it gets really dark. Also, sorry for last episode being 59 minutes. Originally, it was over an hour, but I edited it down because I, I didn't want to re render a hour-long episode that take easily five hours, if not six. I mean, the thumbnail's easy. It's quite easy for th the thumbnails of pretty much all my videos. But for... Rendering, that's not fun. It takes usually three hours for it to get onto YouTube. Okay? Then it actually has to render on YouTube. Which is 15 minutes to anything more than 15 minutes. Which, for people, can be okay. But for me, that's too much of my time waiting for something. Impatience is high in me. Yes, I know. Let's just quickly rest, get some stamina, and we'll mess some stuff up with Meg. Good job. Really? Only raw meat? Not raw fish meat? Well, still, let's just wreck some more stuff up. Hey guys, you want to look for a uh, mosasaur or one of the giant squids? Because I kind of do. Meg is the equivalent to a land T Rex. Okay, get out, get out, get out. That's too much, and I need air. Everything groups up on you, they don't group up on each other, which I find a little frustrating at times. Look at that. One, two, three, and about a thousand panda rays. And remember, the Megalodons have usually thousands of health. At least a thousand. So it's not fun to fight about five of them at once. Right, the stamina. Go 
going back down. Oh, they're all mate boosted, never mind. Wasn't sure if they were mate boosted, but I'll fight the manta rays. Just not the Megalodon. Okay, we're getting close to squid territory. So I'm gonna need air and stamina. Oh, fighting one of the squids would absolutely destroy me. Healing up real quick. Should be good. Going under this much pressure in that short of time can't be healthy. I don't care who you are, that can't be healthy. Oh, that thing is over there. Oh, so it's pretty strong. Not, not going to mess with the giant fishy. It's too strong. I'm going to need a couple megalodons to take it down, mainly because I got a lot of health. Well, that was anti-climactic. I can't English today. That's sad. Well, catch you back in the morning. But first, let us rename Meg to Meg in. Meg in. Options. Change name. Megan. What? It says something. What did it say? You know what? I'll just check it in editing. Because I, I don't really want to do it again. If it warned me, I did something wrong. Oh yeah, morning. So guys, as you can hear from the music, it is morning. And I thought, well, we're on episode four, 14, I think. Or 15. Don't remember... But I thought, well, we're far enough in. Well, how about we actually get to making it? What? Must be lit first. Um. Hold on. Ten technical difficulties. Oh, uh, it might. It might be the cooking pot, actually. By the way, I'm not taming a trike because it'd just be a thing that would bother me. I, I don't have really a use for a trike anymore. I have creatures that can do what a trike can do, but better than a trike. Okay, just wait about 30 seconds. And it should give me something very... A likey bull. A likey, likey. What do you want to have, I made? I think it's so low. Uh, where's the wyvern? I want to make one for the wyvern. Where is it? There, there it is. It's like a hundred bones for just the wyvern. Yeah! Wait. No. I, I thought it actually did something. But no. It didn't. Okay. 
If I remember right, all you need is hide and oil. You know what? I'm gonna be back when it works. So if we put hide into a, ri a refining forge and crude oil, or just oil, into a refining forge, we'll get a special item. So they've updated how you actually make this item, which actually makes more sense now that you make it in there than just anything, which adds a bit of difficulty to the game. Uh, just just a small bit, but it's still quite easy to make it. It just might take a little bit of figuring out where do I put what item. But there we go, look at that. After 30 seconds, you get five gasoline. Take six oil and five hide to make five gasoline. Now the gasoline can be used to power fabricators and stuff. See, now you can turn it on. I'm not going to turn it on because that'll waste my gasoline. See? Six oil and five hide. This is why you farm oil. And boom, I can't make any more. Well, I can make more oil, but I... I mean, I can get more oil from in here, but I don't need the oil for gasoline. Because I don't really need gasoline for really much... for really anything yet because later i'm gonna need a lot of gasoline a unsettling amount of gasoline Let's put that back to work and i'll get back to um stuff look at that we have another egg it looks tasty yeah i just said a pteranodon egg looks tasty also um our scorpion over here leveled up Still thinking of a name for our scorpion, but you guys can name her too if you want, or ladies. She is a female, and she is super strong in level. She has a lot of health, more health than she probably will need. Still need to name this guy too. He's a male connoisseur, here's here what he looks like. Now, let's go to the greenhouse, let's check on our plants, show you how long it takes for the advanced crops to grow. And look at that. It is fruiting. Let's check it. I think it'll make room. But I don't know if it will make room, so I'm just going to take one. Put it in there. So when we come back, we should have some um, fruit in there. So I'm actually not going to cut it here. I'm just going to tell you what we're going to be doing. So you know how we've been going to the volcano a lot and how we've been needing to land on the ground with eyes, number two, a lot. And we've had some close calls on camera and off camera. More close calls off camera because luck. Yeah. So, we, there's the Argent birds. You know, the birds that are kind of cool, kind of like a, a, li a little derp sometimes. Just, just sometimes, they're not always derp. Oh, we gotta make some more narco areas. Anyways, back to what I was saying. They can be a little derpity derp derp derp, but they are still very useful. So, as you can probably guess, we're gonna be taming a Argentavis. Which is just knocking it out, keeping it alive, and feeding it narcotics, and yeah. Feed it narcotics, feed it some meat, we're good. Don't need the slingshot, get that out of there. 
These are blueprints. Don't need two of the same thing. Oh yeah, I made some chests, and I put all the charcoal in this one. Don't think I'll fill up all 15 slots, but you never know. So I'm just going to put the eggs away, and I'll cut back to when we're going to the volcano. So there's a couple things in here I want to show you real quick. Um... First, gotta find him. I, I probably could have find, found him first, then talk to you guys. So, here's a fishing rod. Yeah, a fishing rod. I'll learn it when I have the stuff I need to use it. So, a fishing rod. Very cool. Um, somewhere. I think... Um... There it is. The tree sap tap. 40 cementing paste and 100 metal ingots. I can make a few. Going to learn this one. Which I mean is pretty cool. You can put those on the giant redwoods out there. And you can get sap from the trees. Yeah. You didn't think Ark would have that, but Ark does. Um... Now, there's a wooden tree platform, 600 cementing paste, 600 fiber, 200 metal ingots, 1,600 wood. That's a lot of materials. You can put two of those on a tree, and you can make a base on a tree. I will do that eventually. And you can make a metal tree platform as well. Six, 1,400 cementing paste, 600 fiber, 1,800 metal ingots. I cannot make that, and I don't want to make that. But we will be making a tree base eventually with sap taps and all that. I'll make a sap tap maybe this episode, maybe next episode. It just depends on really my mood and my willingness to craft something. So now we're obviously flying to the volcano. Taking this route is probably the safest route there. Because if you go through the redwoods, you can get knocked off your tame or your bird from a cat in a tree. It happened to me once, and I absolutely hated it. I barely survived, thanks to eyes and killing it. It was a very low level, so I didn't have too much trouble. I was waiting for a T-Rex to come up and absolutely destroy the run. Watch it. There, there is going to be something. What's going on? I'm just waiting for stamina. As soon as I get my stamina, I'm going away from that snake. I'll tame one eventually. The egg is useless. It can be used as for kibble and stuff, I think. We should also tame a frog or a snail soon. Frogs are great for gathering cementing paste, and snails make cementing paste. But they only eat veggie cakes, which require all four advanced crops. So if you were thinking we were just planting those crops for fun, no. And yes, we were planting them for fun and getting ready for a snail. And they actually heal herbivores really quickly. If you're, if you're ever fighting. And we're going to obviously have a boss fight. Eventually. We might take a herbivore. You know, some Therizinosaurus. Like an army of them. Like 50 Theros into a boss room and absolutely wreck the boss. Which has over 300,000 health. At least it doesn't deal like a thousand damage a hit. At least not on the easiest difficulty. 
on harder difficulties can probably deal. I don't know. I want to say 500, but nowhere, no way they have a boss deal with high spam. Unless you're like difficulty level five. Yeah, let's just rest up real quick. Drink some water. And continue looking for some big birds. That's a dodo. I don't really want to go too close to the trees because I know I'm going to get wrecked. Because the last episode... No. Two episodes ago. When we saw some pretty nasty stuff in here. And I don't really want to try it. There. Oh, I uh, see a T-Rex. If I didn't see that T-Rex, I'd be landing and I would probably die. There's also something over there fighting that bird. I think the bird died. If that bird wins, I'll tame that bird up no matter what level it is. It's level 5 million, I'll tame it. What are you fighting? You're fighting something. Another T-Rex. That's two T-Rexes, folks. Well, that one comment that said I should tame a T-Rex. I might have to tame a T-Rex. Don't want to because I... Ooh, that's a good bird. He's a smart bird. He knows. He knows not to go too close to the land. I, I swear I'm English and I can just keep doing it. Okay, let's just hope I don't fall off. And now let's try and hit it. I should probably be closer. Mm, do I wanna... Yeah, I'll try it up here. I don't trust it. Ah! I actually lived. I thought I'd die. Um... This isn't good. Well, I got a nice turtle saddle blueprint right here. An apprentice one. Okay, I I think Eyes wants me dead. He lands in places which I cannot stand, but he can. He wants me dead. Where did, where did that thing, where did that Argentavis go? Um... Uh, uh, should should we just check it just to make sure? Where did where did you go? Just like the FBI when you go in the Carpina mode, they ask me where you go. They're still fighting the Rexes. Goodness me! Y'all should be dead, or the Rexes should be dead. But that is improbable. I think the Rexes still alive. Yeah, there's the wreck. Do you just want to turn this into a wreck taming episode? Because I kind of do. Oh, never mind, never mind, boys, never mind. Is this Rex music? There's two T Rexes down there, so. If I knocked one T-Rex out, the other T-Rex would come and kill me. I'll be back when I find a Argentavis. There is our prime target. And it's flying away. Come on, let's do it now. That drag. Go a little closer. You landed? You landed, big boy? That's your best idea. If you guys could see my face right now, you'd know how I feel. I think the Cardinal's gonna die. But there's other birds that have taken. Let's see who's bloodier. Yeah, the Cardinal's dead. Yep, 
See, the car now's dead. One hit. Wait, why are both of them coming? Come on, follow me, follow me. All of it. Ah, uh -uh. oh, dang it, I messed it up. Too far for them. Oh, they're just really slow. Knock one out. Don't really know which one I'm gonna knock, but I'll tame one of them and just drag the other way. See, th there's one right now. I'm sleeping. You know what? I should knock both and kill the other one in the sleep. In their sleep. Oh yeah, put you on passive. Like passive, passive. Not the smartest idea, but hey, it works. You have a lot of health, more than you need. As long as it doesn't pick me up off my tame, I'm fine. Oh, he's down. It won't be back for a little while. I'm gonna check which is higher level. You're level 20 male. 20 male, 20 male, 20 male. Okay, I got it in my head. Level 60 male. Looks like I know which one I'm taming, boys. Get some narcotics in you. And let's just get some more meat. You know, let's just stack. Oops. Did it again, come on. Yeah. Don't know why you're still watching me, just kind of get angry at myself. There we go. So it does eat meat, that's good, that's good. Okay, eyes, let's just look at the eye and kill the other one. You know, get eyes a level up. Well, you're, this is probably going to be your last time, like, having a good flight. So, let's just make you healthier. That was a complete waste of a point. Sorry, buddy, but you've been replaced. At least at the moment. Well, at the moment, you're actually still my main ride. My homeboy. I'm going to try and pick up the arrows. Oh, you ate. 9.4 every bite. We're gonna be here for a long time. So I'm gonna cut it right now and cut back to when something interesting happens or if I just wanna cut back to something. So I'd like to point out we have a taming effectiveness of 99.8%, which is amazing by the way. We're gonna gain 29 levels when we tame this bad boy. He's gonna become a good boy. 29 plus levels. Kids, what is that? Okay, kids. Kids, what is 60 plus 29? First, add nine. We have 69. Add 20 more. I think, kids, I, little Timmy, I think it's 89. The brand new rapper, 89. In no way uh, officiated, uh, Affiliated with 
the wrapper 69 just sharing similar numbers of one nine in both their names as long as their illegal name isn't that I'm fine so I thought it was about time to show off what these gold ones do here look at all the metal I'm getting that was a lot of metal but the pure solid gold ones oh they give hundreds of metal especially if you have a good one a good pickaxe you get hundreds and if you have a high um gathering rate you get even more can eyes actually carry me yeah eyes can and we can actually go places cool but yeah that's a partially gold one it gives a nice little bit of metal and some stone too nice let's check the weight of this bad boy real quick 456 yeah i could come to this volcano and mine up some of the metal oh, metal I, I i can't speak today this, some of the metal things for the sake of time and just go back and forth and we could get thousands of metal which i don't really need because for some reason i can just gather enough by hitting rocks with my mastercraft pickaxe which is going to need to be repaired again anyways i've been here for a while so i think i'm going to go insane and talk to my bird maybe i should get a volleyball and name him wilson that is the most clever joke I could ever come up with. So, I'm, I'm just kind of gone insane now. And I want to show off a creature which I will be taming in a future episode. Not saying it's tomorrow's episode or anything, but... If I really don't have any ideas, I'll go straight for the one of these. That is a Dodicarus. I think I've talked to you guys about a Dodicarus before. But, here's what they do. So Dodicarus gathers stone like a madman. They gather... I would say too much stone, but... When you're later in the game, you need all the stone you can get. And one of these bad boys can do just that. They can get you thousands of stone, but if you have high gathering rates... You become in over encumbered very quickly. A little too quickly, some would say. Uh, this one looks like it has nice colors. And it's a female. Of. Oh, I thought it said 220. No, just 20. But yeah, we'll tame one of those eventually. And I am hoping for like a nice colored one, but. I'm not gonna be that picky, mainly because stone, I need all the stone I can. I have over 10,000 flint, but barely half of a chest of stone. I think I've officially lost it. Mainly because I've been here waiting for this dude to tame up, and we're at 37.5. It has been... I want to say about 15 minutes, and there is a three times taming rate. The real game of Ark is a hard beast, which makes you earn it, which makes you actually earn everything. Except for dodos, you can tame up like an army of them if you want. Make them god dodos and fight all four Ark bosses in just one map. There's a lot of bosses in Ark, believe it or not. Now I've got. Nothing else to say. Now I can actually cut it and be happy. Don't ask why I am um, almost dead. Just, just imagine I tried to run up the volcano and then I came back down, but I hit a invisible barrier, which made me jump down to there. I kept going, hit another one of those invisible barriers and jumped down again. And let's just say I've been here recovering some health. It is almost nighttime. So, I'm thinking... Okay, we're... Uh-oh. I almost died there. We're at 68.6. Or whatever number that is. And, well, I may as well just kind of talk to you guys. So, 
Does anyone want me to go to the... Oh, oh no, 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 no. Does anyone specifically want me to, to go to um, the snow biome, like, soon? Because when I tame this Argentavis, I could go to the snow biome really soon. I just have to wait until morning because it's much safer in the morning. Mainly because you can see. Like, I can't even I, Actually, I can't see down there. Wait. Yep, I can still see down there. But, let's just say that is one of the da most dangerous areas in the game. Don't think it's safe because of snow. It will mess you up. Just like turning your back to a T-Rex. Is there's one down there and then another one over there? No. One there and one over there. But still, pretty pretty crazy move to turn your back on some Rexes. If you go over there and turn your back at anything, you'll die. So, just fair warning, it is a dangerous area. So yeah, I would say I'm kind of equipped to kind of fly around over there. Building is a different question, though. But if we're going to fly over there, that would mean... Hold on. If we're going to go over there and live, we're going to need... Where is it? Fur. We will become furry people. Get the joke. Do you get the joke? I hope you do. But yeah, it's gonna take a, a small bit of grinding to get all the points needed to learn all the first stuff. Then you gotta make it. So I'm probably gonna be cutting my hair a lot. Mainly because I don't want to go over there and get pelt. Wait, I, I've heard you can get pelt from beavers, but I don't want to find out. Or you can just use the wool if you want, but... You can get wool from the sheep, and I don't really want to go out and tame the sheep, because they're a little bothersome to tame, and they die, like, immediately in the wild. So, if you find one, pick it up with your Argent bird, and just carry it to your home or breeding pen, and tame it up. Why am I giving tips? I'm a small channel with 39 subscribers. I don't need to be giving tips. I should be looking for tips, not giving the tips. Mainly because who trusts a small channel like with pure honesty? Anything that a small channel says is usually taken as, oh, he's just lying. At least that's what I've come across in my line of work. They do have reason to. Their main reason is they're a small channel. Why would I believe them? They don't have a following. Why would they need to tell the truth? Well, here's the thing. Telling the truth will actually work much better than lying. Because the truth will get out and if you're lying, well, it's just going to make you look like a bad person. If you're lying, you may, may as well already be a bad person. What was that? I've lost in health. So I just discovered, by the way, we're at 90-something, 93.8. I just discovered you can hit with this. The animation looks too fast. You don't hit that fast. What's wrong? Or did they hit two times speed while when making the animation for this? Like, why? Why is it that fast? Ooh, voice crack. I hate it. They, they must have hit two times speed on that. Look at that. That is too fast. This is nice. That is a nice speed. This is two times speed. I mean, it'll still work. You'll, you'll still get the same effects. Because everyone's crossbow set to the same timing, so it's just normal. But it doesn't look right. It doesn't look normal. It looks sped up. But maybe that's how fast you'll actually hit with crossbow. I don't know. I don't own a crossbow. But I'm, but I'm American, so I own every single gun in the world. Because America. Same thing with oil. I love, I love oil. I'm American. We also have stuff and stuff. We also have off-brand anime. 
What a time to end it. So, our bird will be called... Hold on. For now, he will be called the argument. What? How does that contain inappropriate content? Is it because it says... Men? Oh, I thought that was something else. Anyways, we need a saddle for this guy, but we don't have a saddle just yet, so... We're just gonna tell him not to... We're just gonna have to have him follow us. We'll, we'll make a saddle back over. I guess you guys don't really need to see me going back home, but for the sake of this clip, I'm going to because I can only put 50 clips into a video or something bad will happen. Oh, this is in the. Oh, look at that water. That's water just gush. Oh, never mind. It's in the water. That is so oh, yeah. Never mind. I'm going to cut back to when we're home. We are home. It totally didn't take a long time. Well, right now, we don't have a saddle for my good friend, Argument. So, we're just gonna come over here. Tell you to stop. Stop that. Sit down. Like, please. Well, I found a one way to ride him. Let's just quickly grab stuff we want. <laughs> Adding more metal. Oh, we actually ran out of metal. That hasn't happened yet. Usually we run out of wood for metal. That's a blueprint that doesn't go there. So let's look for the Argentava saddle. And let's hopefully remember and find it, unlike the other Megalodon saddle. A whole bunch of hide, fiber I can easily get, Shilton or Keratin. I am definitely going for Shilton, because it's much easier to come by than uh, the other one. Fiber. I'll cut back to when I have everything. There's this little dance for everyone. You know, in case you wanted to watch him dance. Because why not? He's precious. When I get a Thylaco, aka, aka a cat. I'm gonna. I, I want to name one precious. Okay. All we need is carry. Please move. Please. Please. Move. Thank you, very much for moving. Hey guys, you want to see me go kill some turtles? going. I'm not gonna harm you, Boris. Et. I'm just gonna see if you have any um, parts of your dead friends. 
That's totally not morbid in any way. Guys, I just found out I can actually shoot when I ride my Baryonyx. Yeah, I'm using Barry Potter right now. You know, just gotta kill some stuff. To get some stuff for the Argentavis saddle, yay! I just killed one turtle. I'm gonna test my luck. I wanna show you guys in case Barry dies. Barry Potter. But as long as I can stay behind and circle. If you can die to a Barry on it, I, I don't want to. Okay, now you do we have enough materials? No, we do not. Just need nine more. Come on, turtles. I have a friend for you to play with today. I don't think I've actually shown you guys the underwater attack. Okay, this fish will work. There. If that was like another player or a creature that could actually take one of my hits, that creature would be paralyzed and you can spam this attack. You can just kill pretty much anything if you have enough stamina. You can rule the waters like a real, a real creature. Now I have to get on land super slowly and recover my stamina. So I, I did a lot of hunting. I also did some oil mining, gathering, whatever. So how about we craft the saddle here, you know, with berries. Because I haven't been doing too much of anything with Barry. Why? I don't know. I've done more stuff with Megan than Barry. Okay, crafting it up. How much materials do you have left? Okay. And a primitive Argentavis saddle has been crafted. We're going to fly around on argument a little bit. And just, you know, ha have a little fun. Whoa. On land, the attack does nothing. But in the water, you know, you do the special thing you need. So, yeah, I thought I'd actually show it off. Because we've had, um, Miss, Mr. Potter. Now nah, I'm going to say Miss Potter. Miss Potter for a while. Since episode 9. And we're on episode 15 or 14. I don't remember which I should... But I don't. Also, I, I seem to be the only one playing Millcraft. Guys, get back to playing Millcraft because I don't want I don't want to be the only one uploading it. Then I then I feel isolated. I mean I'm isolated here. Oh yes. Whoa, it just popped in. It is is it is it still Yes! He's 17. Should I take one? Hold on, I'll just read it. A citronel. AKA lemons or citronels. 17 of them have already been uh, fruited, produced. Don't actually know the correct word for uh, a plant that grows fruit. I have it recalled. I just call it fruited. I think it's actually grown, but Whatever, <laughs> I don't care. At the end of this episode, we'll plant the fourth and final advance. For the next episode, are you a medium or large creature? You're medium. Yeah. I'm not going to cut anything, mainly because editing purposes, pretty much. It's, it's a pain. But the upload times, oh, that's the real killer. It's not the fandom or your subscribers out of the pain. It's the uh, it's the processing. That's the real killer. That's why some people probably think YouTube is a hard job. Well, it is actually a very hard job. Don't get me wrong. It is a hard job. For sure. For schnizzle. But, 
It's your choice on how hard you work. And completely your choice on what you do. First off, let's land, because looks like something special is in your inventory. Oh, look at that. Another saddle that allows you to craft stuff on the go. Just like a smithy. So, in short, I have one smithy, two smithy, three and four smithies over there. Oh, these are some nice colors. I've seen some blue ones. Of course, you have to wait until they're all mutated. So. how much damage you do, let's find out. And this is a pretty fast Arjun. I don't usually see him this fast. Wait, can you upgrade the stat? No. I guess it's just set faster than the Tyranthon. So I feel awesome. Did I leave anything from my Baryonyx Rampage? Something. I'll hit it eventually. 69 damage, oh my god. I only do 69 damage. I should have named you Rapper. But there was actually no reason at the time, so it just be a weird name. Get away until you're fighting the fight Okay, You know what? How about I fight you up here? Oh, that was a Dimorphodon from earlier. Sorry, little guy, but I kind of forgot you existed. And now he does not exist. But yeah, we have a creature that does 69 damage. This thing is stronger than my Baryonyx, but my Baryonyx attacks faster. And has a little more stamina. So, in theory, my Baryonyx is stronger, even though it does less damage. You gotta test out the special move. But I am probably too lazy to go find something. Oh, excuse me. If you couldn't, if you didn't hear what I just did, uh, I probably sound like a AKA racist. Just a smidge, as it sounds, but I am not racist. I am a clean boy. I respect. Flying down. Um, I think I left one Parasaur alive over here. I think. I'll just fly around until I find something to kill. There it is. There it is. Okay, let's test it. Okay, that is actually not working. Hey, let's find out if we can pick this dude up. Don't think I can. Even if I could, I don't want to. Well, no, I can't. It has nice health. Might get the health up to 3,000 before I'm satisfied. I mean, this is going to be my main mode of transportation. I want a good mode of transportation. So now, we're going to plant the seed as I do my outro. In tomorrow's episode, we're probably going to do something special with this bird. Unless there is a recommendation. So guys... And girls of the Arcade Cashmere uh, community. Have a good day, a good night, a good lunch, breakfast, dinner, noon. Really just about everything. Just, you know, have a good time. Be positive in life. Look 
to the positive things and the negative negative stuff if you truly have to. But try to avoid the negative stuff. But sometimes we need some negativity. So we are I forget the exact reason why we need negativity, but we we need some negativity. Not a lot of negativity, but some negativity. So yeah, th there's a nice little rant about negativity. Might might receive one comment saying you're wrong. Even though it's a it's a mainly opinion based thing, if we need to look at the negative times, it, it, it is mainly opinion based. English works with me, I swear. It. Here's a little dance look for, for positive stuff. Yeah. Yay. So now let's go plant that sap fruit. That is its name, sap root. Sap root. Okay, it's not into Davis. I should be loving it myself. Let's see here. How much is your stamina? Got? Okay, about 40 for her. So it's definitely gonna take some work on you, but I'm fine doing some work. Heck, I've been doing YouTube. I I'm used to work. So plant it and look at this. Wait for it to grow. There it is. Oh, whoa! Look at that. I'm really close to my mic, so you should probably turn down your volume. I'm disappearing. I don't know why I did that. I just felt like I had to. So now it, it has been planted. We have a lemon tree, which look kind of like oranges, but clearly are lemons. Or maybe they are oranges, actually. They look more like oranges, and they're oranges, aren't they? They're not lemons. They're oranges. We have carrots, corn, lemons or oranges I don't know which and we have sad root of which I will not spoil what it is even though you could just guess in the comments for what sad root could be but hey that's just another day in arc hope you have a good day and bye